Apple just announced their brand new MacBook Pros and Mac Minis, along with the new M2 Pro and M2 Max chips that are going to be powering them. And there is a lot for photographers, video creators, and audio producers to get excited about. From improved memory bandwidth to even faster ProRes transcoding to some seriously impressive looking photo editing and motion graphics capabilities, the M2 Pro and Max look to be just as sizable a performance boost over the M2 as the M1 Pro and Max were over the original M1. But let's start with the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, which can both be equipped with either of these new chips. Physically, they're exactly the same as their direct M1 Pro and M1 Max predecessors, but on the inside, the new M2 Pro and Max chips unleash a ton of new computing capabilities. The M2 Pro can be configured with an up to 12 core CPU and 19 core GPU, with 32 gigabytes of unified memory and up to 200 gigabits per second memory bandwidth, resulting in up to 20% faster CPU performance and up to 30% faster GPU performance compared to the M1 Pro. And the new M2 Max matches the 12 core CPU of the Pro, but massively bumps the GPU to a maximum 38 cores with support for up to 96 gigabytes of unified memory and 400 gigabits per second of memory bandwidth. That's 96 gigabytes of memory in a laptop. The first laptop I ever bought barely had that much storage. But what do these insane numbers mean practically for professionals? Starting with the M2 Pro, for video creators, this means you can play back up to 23 streams of 4K ProRes video with support for up to two external displays. Video editing and transcoding performance in Final Cut Pro is also improved compared to the M1 Pro. Apple didn't release info on comparative Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve performance, but when we actually get our hands on these laptops, we look forward to seeing how their performance compares as well. For photographers and animators, Photoshop and motion graphics performance are also improved. In fact, the GPU bump in the M2 Pro means you can expect even faster performance in these applications than the M1 Max. But speaking of Max, the new M2 Max you can get in the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros bumps this performance up even further. The M2 Max can play back up to 10 streams of 8K ProRes video and supports up to four external displays. And the HDMI output also supports 8K monitors as well. The M2 Max's support for an up to 38 core GPU means that you can get up to 30% faster graphics speed compared to the M1 Max, so that tasks like powering visual effects, merging massive panorama images, and rendering complex video effects can all be done extremely quickly. Both models also feature the same dedicated hardware acceleration for H.264, HEVC, ProRes, and ProRes RAW codecs found in the M1 Pro, Max, and Ultra. On top of all this, you also get improved battery life compared to previous MacBook Pro models. Up to 18 hours in the 14-inch model, and up to 22 hours, the longest ever in any MacBook, in the 16-inch model. And you get the maximum performance out of all of these configurations, whether the MacBook is plugged into power or running off a of battery. But for those who like their computers permanently plugged in, Apple also announced new Mac minis with M2 chips as well. There's a new base model that features the original M2 chip found in the current generation MacBook Airs and 13-inch MacBook Pro, and also a bumped up model featuring the just announced M2 Pro chip. In addition to gaining all the benefits that the MacBook Pro received, the M2 Pro Mac Mini also has four Thunderbolt 4 ports compared to the base models too. For those who thought the Mac Studio was overkill but the base model Mac Mini was maybe underpowered, the M2 Pro Mini might be the perfect Goldilocks for some desktop-based professionals. And that's a very hardware accelerated look at the new MacBook Pros and Mac Minis featuring the M2 Pro and M2 Max. We look forward to putting them through their paces as soon as they begin to ship. But make sure you're subscribed to BH in the meantime for all things computer and tech related. This is Nick with BH. Stay creative.